Our beloved magical show Wings Club is getting a full-on new reboot featuring a new art style and probably most likely story plot that was issued by the creator himself. So let's talk about it. Let's start off with some minor information about Wings Club and its production. Starting off with the creator of Wings Club and also owner of the company that Wings Club was running on, Indino Straffi. Wings Club had different animation companies streaming the show for global reach purposes that came with different dubs in different languages as well, saying different things, but they were fairly similar to a point to the plot of the show. The success of Wings Club and the fact that they wanted to reach out their show globally led to the company partnering with many streaming platforms. This can accumulate to the fact that when Wings Club fans are talking about the show together, others can remember certain parts of the shows and others don't recall it ever happening because there were different versions and dubs of the shows that some people watched and some people didn't watch because they watched a different version of the show, which can get confusing in a lot of topics about Wings because a lot of people remember different things about the show in general. A lot of this occurred in 2011 where part subdivision of Nickelodeon had co-owned Rainbow, the animation company that made Wings Club and made Wings Club get a whole new American rewrite of the whole entire show. This is where you also start to see stuff not lining up within the Wings Club universe of how certain things that happen within the show starts contradicting other parts of the show that makes it not make sense anymore season of Winx Club. Hey there, everybody. We're back. And your favorite Nick stars are getting in on the adventure. Magic Winx! Don't miss the voices of Ariana Grande. I've known you for years. We grew up together. Kiki Palmer. Aisha. Fairy of Waves. And Elizabeth Gillies. I am so happy to see you again. As they take the Winx Club beyond Believix. The brand new season premieres next weekend. Then this happens. Season 8 of Wings Club. The art style has changed. The story plot is literally, I don't even know what happens anymore. The characters are unrecognizable and they all look like children. And then they're also all whitewashed and made to look lighter. I find it strange how an Italian company was able to capture diversity better than an American company, which has a lot of diverse people in their country which was actually very sad and upsetting. But this, this is what we wanted to see versus what we actually got. And then we have the movies of Wings Club, which I forgot even existed, but they didn't really add anything towards like the actual like television series plot. And I'm pretty sure Bloom and Sky were supposed to get married and they never did. And then we have Abomination number two, the live action Wings Club, which forgot Techna even existed. They also think because they got Stella's hair and Bloom's hair color right and actually cast a black actor that it was going to be all right. Like, no. A reboot was bound to happen with the abomination of the live action movie and season eight being a complete disappointment as well as the live action movie. Honestly, the new teasers and spoilers for the new reboot of Wings Club don't actually look that bad. And I'm honestly excited to see it and see what happens within this one. I'm in the good mood.